Hello my friends, Reverend Penny Honey here with Unity of Flagstaff. Happy Thanksgiving and welcome to Swing Back Sunday. This week's message will be one that was recorded two years ago at Thanksgiving here at Unity of Flagstaff. It was my first Thanksgiving as the senior minister. It has been my joy and continues to be my joy to serve this community. Thank you. Today's message will be complimented by music featuring Wiley Beveridge and Matt Devlin. Always a treat. I'd like to invite you into next week's message where I'll be back. We will be talking about wonder. And it will be a Zoom message so you can, in fact, participate in that message. Check out our website and keep an eye out in the newsletter to find out how that works. I'd like to share with you today my favorite quote by G.K. Chesterton regarding gratitude. He says this, I would maintain that thanks is the highest form of thought, and gratitude is happiness doubled by wonder. Won't you join us next week where we will be talking about wonder? Be blessed, my friends, and please know that I consider this community one of the greatest gifts in my life. Be well. Check us out at www.unityofflagstaff.org. Be blessed. Namaste. I invite you now into this time of rest, peace, stillness, We allow the presence of spirit in and all around us to bring us comfort, assure us of our safety, and remind us of our connection. We breathe deeply in now, breathing in that life breathing in the breath of God and releasing. I am one with the divine and for this I am grateful. We allow ourselves now to release thoughts and feelings and concerns and fears to that oneness with the divine. We know this energy now to be transformed as a greater expression into the universe. I am one with the divine and for this I am grateful. We allow now the music to wash over, bringing us a sense of comfort. We affirm deeply in our hearts and in the depth of our souls that we are one with the divine. We feel that sense of gratitude from this place of knowing and we rest now our minds our hearts our spirits that we might be renewed rejuvenated and connected with the divine within and all around I am one with the divine and for this I am grateful. As we allow these words to permeate, we know this truth for ourselves and for all others. In this knowing we see that connection that runs from us to the divine, to the divine, to us, 
extending beyond our very being to embrace all that they might know that they are one with the divine and for this we are grateful peace peace emanates from us from this connection to the divine and expresses as us for this we are grateful I am one with the divine I rest into this moment with that knowing and into the silence I am one with the divine, and for this I am grateful. We affirm this truth. We claim it now, and we give thanks. And so it is, and so we let it be. Amen. We give thanks for every moment in gratitude for our walk on the earth. In gratitude, we embrace all we are given. In gratitude, together we move in love throughout the world. In gratitude, together we move in love throughout the world. In gratitude, together we move in love. Throughout the world In gratitude We will join in celebration In gratitude For each soul that we meet In gratitude We will honor every being In gratitude Together we move in love Throughout the world In gratitude Together we move in love Throughout the world in gratitude together we move in love throughout the world in gratitude we will shine our light so brightly in gratitude that it lights up the world in gratitude for the life we all are sharing in gratitude Together we move in love throughout the world. In gratitude, together we move in love throughout the world. In gratitude, together we move in love throughout the world. You're live. <laughs> it is. Thank you for asking that. That's a great question. So if you're looking for us live, this is where you, you go. YouTube.unityofflagstaff.org. And we, we are there. <laughs> so let's hear it again for Sally Jo Bano. See, I'm not tethered this week, you know, it's on the microphone, but I will tell you, the screen's only so big, right? So a lot of people are probably going to see some of this. <laughs> <laughs> they might not. They'll hear me, right?
I guarantee you they will hear me. <laughs> okay, easy and breezy with peace in my mind, in my heart, in my soul. Who's in? All right. You want a little bit of that? Yeah. Me too. Actually, you know what? I got it. Do you know that it is four weeks today that I came here? Do you know that I was eating pasta with a set of tongs because I didn't have any silverware and I was eating spaghetti out of a bowl? You got to break it up really small to make that work. I yesterday was trying to find a place to put all the furniture I now have. I yesterday was able to reach in my cabinet and put food on a plate when a woman knocked at my door and said, I need food. Nice. I am abundant. Yeah. 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 And I am in gratitude. How about you? Yes. 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 How about you? Yes. yes. Here you go. Mm -hmm. Easy and breezy. You know, I think I ought to take that demeanor on. I think that fits like a glove. Mm. And I got gloves, too, because it's cold here. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to be us. It's good to be us. And there's a lot in this world that we want to change. There's a lot that needs a lot of love. And there's a lot that sometimes it's hard to find the word thank you around. And I will tell you, it's a false story if somebody says to you, you should be grateful for all things. And I say bull wonky. <laughs> I am not grateful for all things. I'm not. But I can be grateful in all things. And that is what the master teacher, Jesus, told us. We are fooling somebody if we think we can be grateful for all things. That is inauthentic, at least for me. Now, if you've got that master, you come see me after service. Because I want to hear it. I want to see it. I want to experience that. And I don't doubt that it can be done. But not by this one yet. Yet. Right now, though, I'm going to be grateful in all things and some days i'm really good at it <laughs> which indicates some days i'm not mm -hmm. what is gratitude we're starting a four-week series on gratitude and i thought is there anybody out there that doesn't know what it is okay now they're not gonna be able to see and watch this I'll just wait. <laughs> is there anybody out there that doesn't know what gratitude is or doesn't have an idea of that Better tell us. <laughs> Michael's my sidekick. <laughs> He's my straight man. <laughs> so this, there's, you know what, actually, believe it or not, I think I found literally over a hundred um, different definitions of gratitude, which is a little difficult when you've made the commitment that you want to start out with a definition. <laughs> so I said, well, okay, spirit, let's have it. What do you got? Interesting that that would be my last resource. <laughs> As a minister, I might want to work on that. <laughs> what is gratitude? I love the way Robert Emmons, who is recently becoming the guru of gratitude, Google him, Robert Emmons, E-M-M-O-N-S. He says this, gratitude is an affirmation of goodness. Look at her taking care of me. An affirmation of goodness. We recognize the source of our goodness is outside of ourselves. So gratitude is an affirmation of goodness. When I say, by the way, thank you, Alice, I have a beautiful, amazing photograph. The lone boatman in my home that she gifted me with. Thank you. I'm affirming, not only am I really happy to have that on my wall, but I am affirming the goodness in you and your ability to take that and capture that scene and translate it right into my living room. That's gratitude. It's magic. It is magic. That's gratitude. 
that is when we are fully present to the goodness of not only what we've received, but the expression of who that is that we are grateful for. Now think about that for a minute. Okay, two. <laughs> How many times a day do you say thank you? And maybe you say it a lot. How many times a day do you do it consciously? Some? Yeah, and I love that answer because I do believe that. I do believe that. That there are some moments <coughs> that I look at a clerk in a store. Do we still call them clerks? Is that politically correct? Yeah. We, I look at this person that is in service and is working, and I say, thank you. Because I realize that in that moment, that could have messed up my whole day if they hadn't been there to do that. I am acknowledging the goodness, not only of what I just received, but of what they bring to this planet. And what if we kept reminding each other of that? What would happen? What about all those changes? What about those things that we have a hard time being grateful for? What about those? What if we could affirm the goodness, if nothing else, of our awareness of them? What if we could affirm the goodness of where it's moving us to and the action we're taking? What if we could show up big enough in the world that we could receive that appreciation and that goodness from the people around us? How about that? What kind of world would we be living in? Just one second, think of it. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful is a great word. Oh, yeah. Amazing, incredible, remarkable, outstanding. I got a whole bucket load of them. And that is because we move into a place of appreciating and declaring the goodness of what we have received and what it gave the people around us the opportunity to express. That's gratitude. And I just want to thank Robert Emmons because he inspired that through me and in me. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate that. <laughs> gratitude is a selfless act. Mostly. <laughs> Sometimes, I don't know about you, but my little human self comes up and I am really grateful because I want to be seen being grateful. <laughs> I do. And I may be the only one in the room. <laughs> but sometimes I want to be heard being grateful. And that's okay. I am going to love me right there. But it, in its purity and in its place of authenticity, it is a selfless act. It is <coughs> detached from the outcome of what it might bring us. It is affirming the goodness. It's a selfless act. And when we start practicing it, practicing it from that consciousness, it comes so much easier because then I don't have to get all tangled up in that story of I'm not doing it right. I should do it more. I should do it better. I should do it louder. That's rare. I should do it more. I should just do it more and better. And, and I don't have to get tangled up in that if I can come from the consciousness that it is a selfless act. I can be in absolute complete gratitude and it doesn't have to have anything to do with me. I love those moments. I love those moments in life when I am so connected to you and to you and to you and you and you and you and you and you and, you and it has nothing to do with me. Because now we are combining and coming together as a greater expression because we are standing in appreciation of the divinity that resides within us right here, right now, all the time, one power, one presence, it is God, we are that expression. We are that expression. We are that expression. Yay. We are, yay. You can say yay. I don't have to be the only 
only loud one in the room? We are that expression. It's from the place of gratitude. And it's not easy. It's not always easy. And I'm not kidding you, it's not always easy. But I will tell you this. When in four weeks I can live in the most incredible space, and it is the full expression of who I am, and everybody that has walked through the door said, this looks just like you. Wow. Yeah. And I came with about 10 Rubbermaid containers when I arrived. And there ain't room enough in the storage shed for the Rubbermaid <laughs> containers today. That's gratitude, and I am affirming the good and all the people that made that happen. And you know what? It's not just the people that gave me a picture to hang on my wall. It's not just the people that showed up with dishes. It's not just the people that showed up with a TV. Hello? Hello. A 38-inch TV. It's not just those people. It's all the people that were holding the consciousness of my good. You were holding the vision of my good. You were telling me that this was possible. And seven years later, I heard you. <laughs> I heard you. I heard you. It is beyond my level of comprehension. It is beyond my level of comprehension. First of all, that it took seven years. <laughs> but mostly that it could express the way it does. And it's happening in your life every day. Express the goodness, see it in people, be it for yourself. And I think that's the only instruction I can give. <laughs> I have a couple of quotes that I'm so committed to using, so I'm just going to say them. This is a wonderful day. I've never seen this one before. Yes. 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 Maya and yes. Yes. This is a wonderful, come on! Yes. This is a wonderful day. I've never seen this one before. <laughs> ah! Woohoo, God, bring it on. Right? And I love this. This is a Native American quote. And I could not find the tribe that it actually belonged to. And then as I sat with that in, in silence, and I sat with that in my quiet time, this is what came to me. It's probably because it's a general <coughs> feeling and practice of the Native American community. And it's this. Give thanks for the unknown blessings already on their way. Give thanks for the unknown blessings already on their way. And it is hard to see that when it's dark. And it is hard to see that when you're eating pasta with oh, tongs, right? Ah. It's hard, but it's there. And I love this quote by G.K. Chesterton. I would maintain that thanks is the highest form of thought and that gratitude and i love this part is happiness doubled by wonder oh, yeah. <laughs> okay i'm gonna say it again <laughs> now on your bulletin you got some white space if you want to write it down or you want this quote later i'm gonna lay it on the back table this should be on everybody's refrigerator i would maintain that thanks are the highest form of thought and that gratitude is happiness Doubled by wonder. I know, don't you love that? That guy was cool. So how do we how do we see the gift in the gift? How do we stay there? Count them. Count them, folks. Count the blessings. Count them all. Every last one. Even the one that pushed you over the edge and made you think I cannot stretch this far. Count them. Count them every hour on the hour. Count them. Set an alarm on that smartphone that says, give gratitude. How about that? Count them. And I love this one. 
We say grace at the beginning of each meal. We, I say we because me, we do that. <laughs> I say we say grace for every little event that we take on. Thank you, God, that my car is going to run perfectly today. Thank you, God, that I have more Rubbermaid containers than I know what to do with. <laughs> Thank you, God, the space is going to show up, and I'm going to be blessed in the space that I'm in. Thank you, God, that this computer is not going to knock me off my chair today. <laughs> Thank you, God that I am going to open a refrigerator that has enough food to fill my belly. Say grace with everything you take on. Thank you, God. I am going to have an amazing encounter when I go out into the world today. Thank you, God. And I claim it as so and so it is. And it may not look and it may not show up and it may not express the way you think it should, and that's okay. Thank you, God. Try it. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Try it again. Thank, Thank you, God. you, God. We are that expression. We are that. We are affirming the good. We are affirming the good. And it doesn't mean it's all good all the time. But it's all good eventually. <laughs> and all you have to do is hang in there and affirm that I am going to show up in gratitude. I can be grateful in all things. I can do that. I can be that. You are that. You are that. Doubled with wonder. <laughs> Doubled with wonder. Thank you. 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 We affirm the good, and so it is, and so we are. Namaste. Good morning, I'm Matt Devlin, and I'm going to perform a song that my wife Josie and I wrote. It was actually Josie's idea, but we wrote it together. It's called Standing in the Light. I'm not saying I can just flip a switch from dark to light And I know there'll be sorrow and fear from time to time I will choose to be grateful for these moments in my life And I will be standing in the light Standing in the light, standing in the light of my gratitude. Standing in the light, standing in the light, I'm standing in the light of my gratitude. When tragedy turns to triumph. Sorrow turns to joy This is how I choose to live my life I'm letting go Paints a picture of my story Lights a path I see before me I will be Standing in the light Standing in the light Standing in the light of my gratitude Standing in the light, I'm standing in the light Standing in the light of my gratitude Colors my mission, colors my vision Guides my soul and makes me whole Colors my mission, colors my vision Guides my soul and it makes me whole I can hear the heartbeat of life so sweet See the heartbeat of life so sweet See the heartbeat of life so sweet 
standing in the light, standing in the light, standing in the light of my gratitude. Standing in the light, standing in the light, standing in the light of my gratitude. Standing in the light, standing in the light, standing in the light of my gratitude. I'm standing in the light, standing in the light, standing in the light of my gratitude. Standing in the light, standing in the light, I'm standing in the light of my gratitude. Well, I'm not saying I can just flip a switch from dark to light. 